Under cover of thick forest, in wild, rugged countryside, a visitor has returned. Eighty years since it was hunted almost to extinction, the grey wolf has crossed from Italy and is colonising the lower foothills of the French Alps with surprising success. The return of this endangered species has been largely celebrated, but among farmers and landowners, alarm bells are ringing. Wolves hunt. They take easy prey like sheep, and in the summer there are plenty of them grazing on the high alpine pastures of the Alps. This one had been grabbed by the throat and may well need to be put down. The result is that we have a lot of de bêtes mortes, des blessés, the result, des brebis comme dead and injured sheep, said Lionel. It's a flock in pretty poor shape. We've got sheep that have gone lame, sheep that have lost lambs, they're so stressed and frightened. Even though his flock is penned in behind electric fences, he's lost 17 sheep this summer, another 10 are still missing. So costly, he's been forced to recruit another shepherd who will sleep with the animals at night. At the last count, there were 200 wolves in the mountains of southern France. That might not sound a significant number, but this year there have been 600 reported wolf attacks on livestock, and that's a 25% jump on the same period last year. And so, faced with a rising number of attacks, the local prefect has finally authorised a hunt. The wolf they are searching is said to have chased 60 sheep, over a mountain ledge. The wolf by nature will seek out the easiest prey, says the hunt leader. And if it's easy, then it tends to come back, which is exactly what it's done in these hills every other night. Wolf supporters say there's no evidence attacks are out of control. Some might even be blamed on wild dogs. Moreover, they say farmers have an incentive. They get 130 euros in compensation for every sheep they claim was killed by a wolf. Remember, there are 8 million dogs and just 200 wolves, said Jean-Francois. And for sure, there are more dog attacks in France than wolf attacks. The big bad wolf always has shared an uneasy relationship with man. Though despite the hunt ordered this month, it's never been better protected than it is right now. And so quickly are numbers rising that by 2020, it could be living in the forest 50 miles south of Paris. Christian Fraser, BBC News, in the Alpes, Provence.